morning guys welcome back to another vlog and today i'm going to Walsall versus colchester united tuesday night um under the lights tonight and hopefully Walsall can get a win um, tonight um, at the Bescott Stadium. Obviously, last time out for the Saddlers, we got a 2-1 defeat away at Bradford City. Didn't make that game, but apparently we dominated, and you can see by the stats, I think we had 24 shots or something like that. And yeah, we've got to be more clinical in front of goal. We're relying on Danny Johnson a lot, score our goals, obviously missed a penalty in that game too, but we've got to get, be getting goals from elsewhere in the team, and hopefully, we can get a couple of goals tonight and yeah, boost our confidence, but it won't be an easy game. I know they sit 20th in the league, but this league is very tight. It's very early days, you know. They've signed some decent players. Um, Matty Longstaff on deadline days, one that um, everyone's been talking about. And then you've got the likes of Alan George and Freddie Sears in that team who are experienced in the EFL. So I am expecting a tough game, but it's a game at home. We should be getting the three points. No disrespect to Colchester. Um, but I'm going to go with a Warsaw 2, Colchester United um, 1 in this game tonight. Hopefully the Warsaw can get the three points back to winning ways um, tonight. But yeah, let's see what happens. So yeah, I'll see you at the ground. Come on, you saddlers. Grandad, we've got Colchester United this um, tonight. What are you thinking ahead of the game? Well, like I said, sir, oh, no, far away, far, far away Saddlers fans. Evening, hey, Saddlers fans. Well, we haven't won for the last six games. We're desperate for a win tonight. Uh, with 10 points adrift now from late in the audience, get the gap getting farther and farther away. So I'm hoping for to get the pick the three points up tonight. And uh, hopefully again on Saturday against late in the audience. But uh, we've got to see how they play tonight. I hope you play some of these new players. Mm -hmm. You know, we played well at Bradford. 24 shots on target and we couldn't win, missed a penalty as well, so let's up the looks on our side tonight and pick this three points up. Because if we don't, we're going to get far and far away of the teams and they're going to catch some catching up. So I'll we'll see you up the ground tonight, Saddlers fans, and ooh, 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 up the Saddlers, far away! Go on. Come 
here goes Walsall have drawn 1-1 um, one, one at home to Colchester United first half absolutely car crash of a performance um, started off terribly with that goal from um, from Colchester mix up between Hayden White and um, Owen Evans so that's got to be sorted mistakes like that um, you know we're giving teams a step in the game so things like that have got to be improved um, Latin Orient on Saturday that'd be a tough game you know they've won again today um, top of the league and that'll be a tough game second half was much better though I thought um, Jacob Maddox when he came on you know it's just one touch football the composure um, he displayed was brilliant I thought and yeah he's an exciting signing um, my man of the match today it's got to be Liam Bennett again his work rate is superb, up and down. That right um, wing is brilliant. Um, but no, we've got to be playing better than that. I think a draw was probably a fair result though at the end of the day. I think they won the first half. Um, but second half, we did come back into it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think defensively at the moment, too, we're looking shaky. Um, a couple of the times they caught us on the break. Today, their plan was just to sit back and then ca um, catch us on the counter-attack, I think. And I did it quite well at times, Colchester. Um, Tom Knowles, he got his first Warsaw goal. Happy for him because um, I think that goal has been coming um, brilliant, brilliantly tucked, to be honest, um, on his left foot, I think. So, a brilliant finish. Happy for that. But, like I said, Latin Orient on Saturday will be a tough game. Um, top of the league, like I said. Away I am going, so um, look out for the vlog for that. Um, and hopefully we can come away um, from East London with the three points because we need it. I don't think we've won in seven or eight games now. Um, and the pressure's not building on Mickey Flynn. I don't think it is, but we need to be picking up some three points if we want to get close to them playoff spots because we've got to be a lot more consistent. Um, so, yeah, we go again. It's a point at the end of the day. And we haven't. Um, three points would have been brilliant, but um, a point gained. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this vlog. And up the saddlers.